I wish I had decided to study design instead of science. I really liked to paint, but life got so busy, so I stopped. When I was younger, I used to sing, but now I just get stage fright. Conversations I have with people about their creativity usually end up like this, located somewhere in a dead end. The bottom line is, by the time most people grow up, they have usually stowed away their creative talent and left it to gather dust in a distant corner of their conscience. It seems like there is a certain definition of what it means to be a creative, whether that's the artsy student blogs or the paint with me as a full-time artist videos. I think there is a subconscious notion that being creative is only valid if it's done full time. A lot of us probably can't relate to this as we are in full time jobs or studying another subject in school or university. We see these videos become inspired to take up our own creative hobby once again, but despair as we realise that we don't have the luxury of doing it as a main gig. We tell ourselves that we can't fully commit to this or we don't have the time. And this means that we end up just letting go of it completely. This issue was stowing away in the back of my mind as I was writing some scripts for Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber course. And then it hit me. Why don't we just introduce the idea of a part-time creator? This whole idea of being part-time is either to do it as a fun side project to test it until it eventually becomes viable full-time, or a mix of both. Under this definition, the label of part-time creative suddenly makes the gateway to creativity a lot more accessible. It gives permission to rediscover your hidden or long-lost talent. I think it's time that we make room for other definitions of creative. Being a part-time creative means that it's more than just a hobby, you are committing to taking this thing, whatever that may be for you, seriously. And yes, that can mean you still have fun whilst doing it. Once you commit to being a part-time creative, you dedicate your remaining gaps of time for it, away from your job, school, or other life commitments. These time constraints means that you will somehow make time for it with no room for procrastination. So technically, there are no excuses. So if you're still watching this, you probably fall under this banner. Here's to you, the part-time creative, the one putting in the hours for your side hustle, the one who keeps going despite the background noise and the incessant worries in your brain, the one who has decided to choose yourself again and again. And don't worry, you're not alone. There's definitely room for you and there's a lot more of us out there than you think. Music